what types of disabilities do you need in order to file a, a claim? So they, they're going to make you prove your claim. You know, the VA, I think, has eight presumptive disabilities. I'm not, I'm not sure on that, but eight presumptive for the Camp Lejeune. Um, if you have one of those, that case is going to be super easy because the standard, again, is likely as not. The VA has already conceded it. I think you'll have a very good claim. Here's the interesting thing, though. Um, even if, you know, if you have a slight claim or, you know, say you have headaches or, you know, um, some kind of neurological pain, or you don't have anything at all. The state of North Carolina has in its laws that you can, um, that you can get what's called medical monitoring for the, for the rest of your life or what they would consider the rest of the time that you could develop that disease. So not everyone would qualify, you know, if you're there in 53 and the, the disease manifests, you know, anywhere from a year to 30 years out, well, you're not going to qualify for medical, medical monitoring, but you still could qualify for something if you're, if you're a bit older. So that's to me is very fascinating because, you know, it allows everybody in and, you know, we're talking probably 50 to a hundred to $200,000 just for medical monitoring. So that's a pretty, that's pretty big. And so we've been talking to different law firms who are, we're looking to partner with who really understand this. And, and so we're trying to, to take and to get intake and try to get medical records for anyone and everybody who was there. Because unfortunately with these toxic cases, you know, it's not like a, you got burned and there it is, you, you know, the next day you're dealing with it and it's, it's there with you for your life. It's like, it just pops up on you, you know, right. the cancer can come out of nowhere. So, so we're excited to be able to not only help these people, but to help a vast array of folks who, who can, who can do this. But yeah, I mean, Craig, it's wide open and, 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 you know, I've had people say, well, oh my gosh, this is too generous, yada, yada. And I say, this is about time. And I would say that if it's a disease not on the presumptive, no, there's no. still plenty of medical literature out there about other problems that people have that um, that's not on the list, but could be, you know, should be conceded. So just because there's that list there, that's great for people who are on there, but that doesn't mean if you're not on it and you have a severe disability that you don't fight for that. Okay. If you meet the basic criteria and you think you may qualify for benefits from Camp Lejeune and the toxic water, go to the Hill and Pond website right here. I'll leave a link in the description and they'll get you started.